Hello, and thank you for watching another episode of The Fat Vegan Chef. Thanksgiving in the United States is coming soon, and I thought I would make a couple of recipes that reminds me of Thanksgiving. Today's recipe is the classic green bean casserole. If you enjoy these recipes, please share them with your Facebook and Twitter friends, and don't forget to tip us a dollar or two so we continue to make more of these yummy recipes. And I would like to thank the anonymous person that tipped five dollars that will go directly towards the ingredients for next week's recipe. Details can be found at thefatveganchef.com. Please click on the donate link. Thank you. Let's start making this recipe. The tools that you will need to make the green bean casserole are a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, a knife, measuring cups and measuring spoons, a mixing spoon, a rubber spatula, and, and a pot and a 8x8 cooking dish. The ingredients that you'll need to make this dish are 8 tablespoons of earth balance or one stick of earth balance, 2 cups of button mushrooms, 2 cups of cremini mushrooms, one half, and both of these have been sliced, 1 half of a red onion that's been diced medium or fine, You'll need one half of a leek that's been washed well and sliced, one half teaspoon of black pepper, one half teaspoon of sea salt, one half teaspoon of grains of paradise, one uh, or three cloves of garlic that's been minced, one shallot that's been minced, six tablespoons of flour. You'll need one tablespoon of soy sauce, two cups of vegan unflavored coconut milk. Make sure it's unflavored and unsweetened. You'll need uh, one cup of vegetable stock and the recipe for this you can find at the Fat Vegan Chef. You'll need 18 ounces of either frozen or canned sliced green beans and one and one third cup of French fried onions. You have all of your tools and ingredients gathered all right, let's go ahead and cook this, shall we? First thing we want to do is add our eight tablespoons of earth balance in the pot and let that melt. And once we have our earth balance melted, go ahead and add our two cups of mushrooms, both cremini and button. Also add your pepper, your grains of paradise, and your sea salt. That's a half a teaspoon each. We will also add our one tablespoon of garlic, half of a red onion diced, medium to fine, and our half of a leek that's been sliced thin. We'll also add our shallots that's been minced. And now we'll give that a good stir. And we'll let this cook down until the mushrooms are cooked and our onions have become translucent. Alright, as you can see, the mushrooms and the onions are pretty much cooked down. So now what we will do is add our one tablespoon of soy sauce. And we will let this reduce down just a little bit to get all the soy sauce absorbed. Just about a minute or so. Now that our soy sauce is reduced, We'll go ahead and add our, our six tablespoons of flour. We want to add this in and stir it up really good so there's no lumps. Okay, now we'll go ahead and let this cook for about 10 minutes. And we'll cook it on a low to medium low heat. And, what, and we'll stir it occasionally during this 10 minutes. And what this will do is, is go ahead and get all the starchiness flavor 
out of the flour and so I'll see you back in 10 minutes. One thing that I forgot to mention is while your flour is, re is uh, getting the starch out of it, go ahead and turn your oven on to 350 degrees and let the oven preheat. It's been 10 minutes. Our roux is uh, nice and cooked. So now let's go ahead and finish this up. What we want to do is turn our heat up to about medium high to high to bring the temperature of the pot up. We'll give this just a minute to get heated up here. Okay. What we'll want to do is first add our vegetable stock. And again, you can find the recipe for this vegetable stock at thefatveganchef.com. We'll get this stirred in. And now we'll add our um, vegan milk. And again, this is unsweetened and unflavored. And this is two cups of vegan milk. And depending upon how thick your soup gets, you may have to add more to it to get it uh, um, from being too thick. We'll get this a nice stir. And what we'll do is we'll stir this and we'll cook this down until it's become nice and thick like soup consistency. And I'll see you when our soup is nice and thick. It looks like the soup has thickened up. So I'm going to go ahead and taste it. See if it needs anything. I think it needs just a little bit more salt. So I'm going to add a little bit more salt to it. Alright, I'm going to taste it again, see how it is. There we go. That did the trick. Now I'm going to go ahead and cook, put in the green beans. And again, this is the equivalent to 18 ounces, either canned or frozen green beans that has been thawed or drained. Alright, I'm going to let this cook for just a minute or two more to allow the uh, soup to thicken up just a little bit more from the residual moisture from the green beans. And then we'll go ahead and get this in the oven. Our green bean casserole mixture looks like it is ready to go. So I'll meet you back at the counter and we'll get this ready for the oven. Now what we're going to do is take this mixture and put it in an 8x8 baking dish. If you have 9x9 it should work just fine as well. So we'll go ahead and put this in here. Get it spread in here evenly. Just like that. Okay. Now we'll sprinkle the top with the fried onion rings. This is about one and one third cup. Try to get it all evenly distributed. There we go. That looks good. So now we'll go ahead and cover this with aluminum foil and I always like to put shiny side down and we're going to bake this in the oven for 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes 
after the 30 minutes, then we'll take off the foil and we'll bake it for another 10 minutes. So when I see you last, or see you next, is when I'll be pulling this out of the oven and we'll see how it turned out. This is what it's going to look like when it comes from the oven. Uh, you want to let it cool for at least 10 minutes before serving. More than likely you're probably going to bring this dish wish with you to your Thanksgiving meal. If you bake it on site, again let it wait at least 10 minutes. This will usually serve 9, but more than likely people are going to be dishing it out as they go. So you may get more than 9 servings depending on how much people get. Um, I'm going to, uh, this dish looks really good and it tastes just like the original dish. I really do hope that you enjoyed this recipe. Hopefully you will make it on your Thanksgiving table. If so, please let me know how it turned out. Please like and share this recipe with your friends and family. If you like this recipe, please consider donating to help keep me going. Thank you for watching and enjoy your vegan green bean casserole this holiday season.